Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host Matt and your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today is part two uh, of our Beaver Builder series. Uh, go ahead and check out part one, which was an overview of Beaver Builder, is using it, kind of understanding the options, the mindset behind that uh, Beaver Builder page building experience and sort of my thoughts sprinkled in there along the way. Today we're gonna take a look a little bit deeper at using the templates, the layouts, the advanced modules, and just get an understanding of how uh, you can use that in in your own uh, Beaver Builder projects, right? So let's dive right in. I've already got this sort of blank canvas here, and we can play around with some of the uh, the features of the advanced modules and and the templates, right? So I highlighted this in the first video. If you just click on templates, this is the fastest way to launching a website or a layout for your website. Uh, than building it all yourself. And I want to show you uh, an example of how you might, you know, use layouts to your advantage and maybe even pick them apart to quickly build out, uh, build out a layout. So for one, one example, uh, and this is just a very basic example, okay? So I'm going to load this. Oh, that's the wrong template. I'm sorry. Let's go back. It's this template right here. Let's say you were building a product page or something like that, and maybe kind of replicating what Google's doing, or excuse me, what Apple's doing uh, with uh, their uh, product pages. But you see right down here, they have, of course, everything flows nice. All of these sort of uh, assets all are styled well. The colors play nice together. The open airiness of this layout works really, really well together. But if you come down here and you see this pricing grid, uh, there's two products or two pricing products here, and, uh, you know, it's... It's a nice little pricing table, and but it's got that color scheme that matches, right? So you might find, and this again is just a very basic example, you might find something in the layouts that the pre-made layouts that you like, and you're thinking to yourself, well, I can build that when I have a blank canvas, uh, if, or if I want to build that, I can probably just you know inject those those layouts or those modules into my website. Well, that's not the case, and I'm just going to clear this out. And I'm not saying that this is a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. I just want to show you the difference um, of what, what happens with a predefined layout. So let me get rid of those rows. And I'm going to drop in the pricing table just to show you, again, a very basic example here. At a pricing grid, you can already see the, the gray color in the background. Uh, product one, uh, price $299. i am not going to say anything there. And I'll say feature one. Add feature two. And there's something I'm, I'm, I want to point out here. Again, if you're new to this, if you're new to page builders or uh, especially Beaver Builder, these advanced modules have all of these input fields already set up for you. That's what makes them a module. That's what a module is really all about. So a pricing grid is very specific. Uh, so they have price boxes, they have the duration. Those are the two that you get here. There's no option to extend that uh, if you wanted something else. Like um, if you wanted something that said it was uh, a, f a featured, um, you know, a featured product to buy, right? So uh, that's something that's always on the top, like, you know, most popular or something like that. You would have to go in and add those types of uh, little CSS classes on top of it. Um, and you might find better options in another pricing plugin, uh, pricing table plugin on WordPress. Um, but that's the idea. Modules are almost little basic plugins that you might find in the WordPress uh, ecosystem. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Let's save this. And again, I could add another pricing box here. So you can see very specific. It's not just like, here's a couple columns and, you know, or tables and go ahead and figure this stuff out. Very specific to pricing tables, and that goes for all of the advanced modules. But you can see that even though this is very, very similar, color stylings and maybe font size is bigger in, in the pricing sections, but the color is definitely different. And it's because it's already been styled for you, right? And in those templates, that's what they're doing. They're really going in and saying, okay, let's, what's some of our best modules in Beaver Builder uh, that play really well together in a nice layout? And they go ahead and do all the styling for you in those specific layouts. So again, I'm not saying that this is a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just something to be aware of, right? So if you see this pricing grid or there's another style module that you like, 
and then you go and build another page or you're working on a new project, you might not have that unless you bring it in from a layout, okay? Because the bare minimum is what you're gonna get when you simply drag and drop it from the toolbar into the website. So uh, let's continue on with another uh, sort of example that you might find yourself doing with an advanced uh, module or just uh, Beaver Builder at its core. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. Delete, okay, I'm gonna leave that there, delete, okay. So what's another way that is another popular thing that, that people typically use in their, in their website is uh, you know, either icon groups or groups of features. And one of the ways that I found myself using Beaver Builder in some other, uh, you know, in some other areas of, of building websites is I can come in and I can select these icons and I can, I'm just gonna do this stuff really fast, save, and that'll drop in uh, this grouping. And what we would do here is we can keep going and adding these grids of icons. So you, very popular if you're doing something like an as seen in or uh, featured, uh, you know, feature functions of a product or a piece of software, that kind of thing. You might use these different icons to uh, indicate uh, various things. But if you're trying to do like a grid of services that you, that you have, um, you know, in your, in your website or as your service, what you might want to do is something like throw in uh, three columns and find yourself adjusting to um, putting in text boxes to do that kind of thing. So let's go to add comment or content. We're going to go text editor. I'm going to say feature one, center it. Uh, I'm going to show all, I'm going to give the font size, I don't know, let's just say 28. And then I might, you know, some text about my feature goes here. This is a great way to showcase your features, okay? Uh, read more. And then you might wanna, you might wanna link that to, you know, whatever product page. Uh, that's out there. So the idea here is sometimes a module isn't created for what you want. So there's the icon grid and then there's, uh, I think they have, like you might, maybe you do this in a slideshow perhaps if you wanted to do something like that, maybe not. But the idea here is typical fashion, big hero on top of a page and then the features. But Beaver Builder makes it easy to work and manipulate these areas with some of their core features. So I could just duplicate this and then drag this over, duplicate this, and drag that over. And I can start to build my, you know, feature section without using those advanced modules, okay? And then if I wanted to come in and say, give me a image, Or better yet, what I'll do actually is I'll get rid of this row and um, no, I do want that row, sorry, or I want that column. Put that back. And what I'll do is I'll do something like drop in a background up here. So I'll say background photo, uh, select the photo. Hopefully I have, uh, that's all I have is, is this. This is not the best one, but you can see that I can begin to build out these sections um, across the board. So if I wanted to, I'll just save that for an example. I can come in and then I can change this to white. And you know what, I'm gonna do that across the board. So I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna remove that. Yes, I wanna remove this. It's not the prettiest for sure, <laughs> uh, but it gives you an idea of the flexibility that you might have when you're working with these features, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna drop in one more. I'm gonna say something like text editor here, and then I'll say, I don't know, just one big welcome message. Center font size 42 bold and text color white, okay? So you get the idea, you can, you can play with these uh, areas 
by, you know, if you don't see something that's in a module already, like a feature grid or product feature grid, something like that, you can kind of craft them on your own through columns and rows. But then what you can do is save this template. So if you wanted to save that and reuse it, and again, this is one of the advantages that uh, a lot of page builders have, specifically the ones I've been featuring, Beaver Builder and Divi. So I can say Matt's landing page, okay? So the template's saved, and I believe when we go into the templates section, we can go to your templates, and then we can go into the landing page templates, okay? So that makes it... Uh, that makes it very flexible when you're building many, many products. I'm sorry, my phone is ringing <laughs> and I don't want that vibrate to come through. So uh, that's it. That's how you can build out these modules, save them as templates, and then reuse them uh, in other projects. Let's drop in another template real quick. Uh, let's take a look at content pages. Content pages, uh, again, what's the difference is the other, the other landing pages are made for landing pages, right? You might use this as a home page. You might use it for a product page um, or you might use it for like sales specific landing pages, content pages. This is the stuff that's much more, um, you know, predefined like, like we just did. We built a features, um, you know, section grid. Well, here's another one, right? Here's another one that they built very much the same way and they've loaded in the icons and stuff like that. So if you don't want to, uh, make the guesswork or do the guesswork like we did, maybe you can reuse this and bring that to another template or mix and match and create your own templates, okay? Uh, when we're back into the content page, let's just take a look at uh, another great example. Again, from the top of the show, we talked about the pricing grid. Let's replace this existing one with their pricing table. And again, you can see that this one's styled a little bit more. I got some colorful, colorful icons. Um, the colors are definitely... Uh, contrasting really well. Look at this nice background. So there's a lot of things that you can do with, you know, starting from scratch, customizing it yourself, or again, start with something uh, like this. And I think that's the biggest advantages uh, to using these modules and uh, the template systems built into uh, Beaver Builder. Okay. Uh, that is a, just a quick overview of that and, and using those those features uh, and those columns and text boxes and have fun with it, right? That's one of the things that I've heard a lot of people say about page builders is it, it makes it fun uh, to build uh, different parts of a website. And uh, it, it truly does, especially if you don't know uh, a lot of the code and, you know, the technology behind the scenes. But again, if you, if you just want to save time, like you don't want to spend the time to learn that stuff and to code that stuff, Beaver Builder makes, makes it uh, a great way to do that. It's PluginTut.com. If you do enjoy videos like this, we'll be continuing our Beaver Builder series probably for one more video. Or if there's something specific you want to learn about in Beaver, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hope you learned a little bit something from this episode. Uh, it was very much comparing and contrasting, building it from scratch, uh, you know, with the options you have in Beaver Builder, and then using their sort of advanced modules and layouts to maybe mix and match a few uh, exciting things and putting them together. PluginTut.com, go ahead and hit subscribe. Share it with friends and family. Really helps us get found. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.